So um, picking up from where we left off, I've got the motor completely together, um, ready to be prepped and painted. My first step will be to um, get in here with a wire wheel and get the rest of that um, rust and dirt out. So we've been in here with the uh, wire wheel and the rest of the housing has been given a bit of a, a touch up. Um, basically we just need to clean off all the dust and um, give it a wipe with some wax and grease remover now. So I've just finished cleaning up the motor off camera using some of this um, wax and grease remover and these um, Caterpillar white wipes. They're pretty good because you can see all the dirt coming off so you know when it's, got it, when it's all clean. But I'll just have to give it a once over view and then I'm ready to paint so should we get some paint on and shouldn't be too long before we see it running. The colour I've chosen to paint it is this uh, green, it's called Shallot Leaf by uh, Deluxe. Yeah, that's just happened to be the brand that I could find at our local paint shop, but just an epoxy metal. Um, should be um, pretty good. While we're waiting for the paint to dry, we'll go ahead and um, clean up this termination box that goes on the side of the motor here. Uh, it's got a metal clamp here that clamps on the uh, shroud that goes around the wires and um, keeps it all mechanically protected. So we'll go ahead and clean that up. I think I'll end up painting that part there green as well, and I might do this um, in a part here in the dark charcoal that I've done the um, the screw heads and the the inner shreds with Thought I'd better go ahead and clean up this uh, cable clamp. Um, as soon as you made it out of aluminium, um, pretty sturdy really. It's lasted the last 70 years. I don't think any of the plastic cable clamps that we have today would last that long. I'm not sure what they, they use over in the um, US, but here in Australia everything 
Seems to be made in plastic. And we'll see how that goes. So I've just finished putting on the first coat of paint. It all went on pretty smoothly. Um, I've left the bottom of the motor ears unpainted as well as the inside of the motor here. As most of it's still got its um, protective paint on from the original finish. So I'll probably end up putting another coat on the areas I can reach when the motor's upside down like this. Um, and then I'll have to wait until that dries and flip it over and put the final coat on the top but once that's done it should be ready to fully assemble and test So the original cable that was connected to this motor before I pulled it out of the lathe was this um, solid core cable that was connected through this bottled connection and then that connection just had some um, red tape over it to pre um, protect it against shorts but I'll probably um, connect this new cable with uh, a soldered splice and then I'll um, put a termination end over the end of it and that'll give it a better mechanical protection as well as a, a electrical protection against shorts
So I've been able to put the terminations on now and get the little box on the side here, the cover for it back on. Um, we've got the grease nipples in. Um, the caps are still left out at the bottom. Uh, I believe you have to grease these motors when they're running, but I've already added some uh, grease in there already, and then I'll I'll top it up while it's running when I actually install it back in the lathe. I've just got the uh, lathe dummy wide here into the three phase extension so we're gonna yeah power it up um, I'm not sure what phase rotation I've got at the moment so who knows which way this will spin but we can easily change that when we go to wire it into the contactor basically this is the first time I've powered up this motor so it'll be well, hopefully it goes um, be a lot of time wasted if it doesn't but I've got no um no worries about it um, being functional it looked all fine in the inside and looked like it would be a pretty solid motor so we'll um, go ahead and turn it on So we've finally got the motor back together. Um, I've just finished putting the pulley on. Um, we've given it its first run. Seems to start up fine. Um, runs pretty quiet. Um, the next thing I'll probably work on is um, getting the drive clutch freed up. Um, I'm pretty happy that it come together so well. Um, it's tidied up pretty good and um, I'm pretty happy with it. So if you'd like to follow on with the rest of the restoration, um, please subscribe and um, I appreciate all the comments and feedback I've been getting on all the videos.